We are in the small village of Merzuga, home of the nomadic families of the Eight Buni tribe, a fraction of the larger Eight Chabash tribe, who are related to each other, regardless of distance, through ancestral solidarity and rites that bind them to each other. Yusef has been an orphan from childhood. He is more at ease in the company of the animals he looks after, rather than with people. Aisha, now over 30 years old, dreams of owning her own Chaima tent one day. A professional dresser is summoned from the nearby town, bringing clothes to dress the bride. The groom, however, is in no such haste. After all, the festivities will only begin in the evening. The tent where the groom will go into solitary retreat until the night of the wedding is prepared. A nearby anthill is left alone in respect of nature. <laughs> This is a unique moment in the life of a woman. She isn't expected to do anything. Everyone around her is at her beck and call. She just has to pose gracefully with all the clothes and accessories that she has always dreamed of. The men prepare kini kebabs rolled in fat. <laughs> For this occasion, the Isnayan, or the groom's ministers, play the role of sultans. They are chosen for their understanding of tradition, their endurance and affable character. They play a prominent role in the ceremony. <laughs> the 
The actions and words of the bride must remain measured. Even when taunted, she has to keep her composure. The East Nayan go and fetch the bride and take her gifts from her groom. Gunshots fired in the past have now been replaced by fireworks, as arms are now banned. From then on, the bride's face must remain hidden until the night of the wedding. The bride even has to remain covered by a cloak when eating. <laughs> After dinner, some women from the tribe will start preparing the bride for the occasion, still hidden underneath the cloak, as dictated by tradition. <laughs> A pin is hidden in one of her slippers, and the groom is expected to find it before consummation of the marriage. 
The straps tied around her fingers are to ward off the evil eye. It is such a spectacle. It is like being backstage at a theater, witnessing each scene gradually being built up or replaced by another, under a unique light highlighting every action in the night of the desert. The bride is carried by her brother. The men in the bride's family pretend to prevent the Isnayan from taking the bride away. The Isnayan may be asked what they have come for, only to be made fun of. On this occasion, one of them is asked to dance like a woman. The father will remain in isolation over the three days of the marriage ceremony. Once the bride is in her tent, the henna ceremony commences for the groom. Like the bride, the groom's face must also remain hidden from the public until after the night of the wedding. The East Nyan prepare a seat to carry the bride. The bride will ride a camel three times around the tent. The child sitting behind her is assigned to promote fertility.
Nobody is allowed to see the groom. He eats alone, only in the company of one companion. The tent that has been prepared for the bride is located on the other side. Marriage is one of the essential rites defining the identity of this community. Rituals have a strong symbolic value. Even though they may have lost some of their significance over time, they are still repeated scrupulously. Whilst everyone is eating, the bride is discreetly taken to meet the groom. She is then brought back after consummation of the marriage, before daybreak. السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Throughout the morning, the guests, men, women, and children, come and congratulate the groom, who offers them almonds. Again, jokingly, the bride is tied to her mother-in-law. In this case, the role of mother-in-law is played by someone else.
The bride throws almonds to the invitees. <laughs> then it is the turn of the groom. <laughs> Melted butter presages abundance. The morning after, Yusuf returns to work as normal. However, today, he is in a hurry to get home, because today, someone is waiting for him.